Hey, Street. Welcome to Philly. Thanks for doing this. Uh, first off, I wanted to ask, what was the process like eventually signing with the Eagles, and how does your style of play match up to what this, def this current defensive line? First off, it's amazing uh, being an Eagle right now. Uh, I just had like a tour of the facility, meeting everyone, uh, all the personnel and everything, and they built something truly special here. Um, uh, throughout the re the recruitment and everything that involved that's involved with free agency, uh, I felt like the Eagles had the the best combination of everything, as far as culture, the scheme, uh, the players, and people in the building. I, I it's I feel like it's the best opportunity. And as far as fitting in with the scheme, um, whatever Coach Walk and Coach Wash want me to do, I'll do it. Um, I feel like my talents and what I bring to the tables as, as uh, intangibles also fit in with this scheme. So I'm ready to do whatever they need me to. We'll go to Rube and then John McMullen. Hey, Street, welcome to Philly. Uh, you know, when you talk about uh, the culture and all the stuff, how special it, it seems to you when you got here, is that something you could tell from the outside, you know, before you signed here? Uh, and what were your impressions of the organization uh, from the outside? So from the outside looking in, it looked like the players – Everyone dealing with the organization really enjoyed uh, coming to work here. And I feel like that's very rare in our line of work. It can be very grueling. Of course, it's very demanding. And to be able to come in day in, day out and smile and enjoy being around your coworkers, that's special, man. It's rare. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of it. I can't wait to get around all the fellas. If I could just follow up, how did you see that? How did you sense that? What gave you that impression? Game day. So, Gainer, just how the guys interact. You, can, you can't hide stuff on the football field. You really can't. Um, so, just how they celebrate together other people's successes. On a lot of teams, when a D-lineman get a sack, he's the only one celebrating. On the Eagles, the whole defense is crazy. They're, they're happy. The D-line are uh, button heads, jumping in the air, hitting each other, hugging each other. Like, that's special. You want that, like um, – we grind throughout the whole season. You go to training camp, OTAs, these practices. It's so grueling on the body. You, you want to see the guys want you to be successful, and you want to see the other guys be successful also. And it's special that they have that here, especially with all the defensive success they've had here. Thank you. Go ahead, John, and then Josh Tolentino. Hey, Street. Welcome. Um, it, it, did you have any sort of background with anybody on the Eagles, anybody you're familiar with, any, anybody here that makes you sort of feel comfortable right away? Well, um, I'm familiar with Coach Wash's father. Uh, he trained me, uh, I want to say it was going into the 2021 season because um, uh, in San Francisco they run a similar scheme to this. So I'm very familiar with his father. So uh, he had very high praise for Coach Wash, so I felt very comfortable coming here. I know I'll be in great hands. I know he would get the most out of me. And also uh, Josh Sweat. So me and Josh Sweat, we trained together coming out of, in our 2018 draft class. So it's great. it's been great seeing how uh, Josh has come along as a player and as a, a man. It's uh it's going to be very exciting being his teammate because uh, I wish I was his teammate uh, back in college. He was turning those edges and setting uh, certain setting edges. So I'm excited for that. We'll go to Josh and then Martin Frank. Hey, Street. Good to meet you, man. Um, I guess in addition to you and free agency, uh, the Eagles were able to retain two uh, pretty big fixtures in this city in uh, Fletcher Cox and also Brandon Graham. Um, I guess as a, I, know, I know you're not a young player, but turning 27 uh, next month, uh, how have you uh, admired them or watched them uh, as you've been in the league? And, and what do you think about the opportunity to play with uh, BG and Fletch? I'm extremely excited. Um, I've been watching these guys since I was a puppy. Uh, Fletch and BG have been setting the standard for D-Lyman for a long time now. And having the opportunity to be in the building with these guys, going to practice, going to war with these guys is going to be huge. I think it's going to add so much to my game. Just being able to pick their brains, see what they see, you know, react on how they react, pass rush how they pass rush, you know, try to add that to my game. I know I can only, you know, get better. I can only add to what, you know, what Fletch has been doing, what BG's been doing, you know, just going here and to uh, fulfill my role to the up utmost capabilities that I can do. Go ahead, Martin, and then Ed Kratz. Hi, Street. Um, my question is kind of along those lines. I mean, you've always, it, it seems like you've always played with uh, pretty deep defensive lines, whether it's NC State, the Niners, or even, you know, the Saints and everything. When you look at the Eagles rotation at defensive tackle, 
you know, Fletch and, and Jordan Davis, Milton Williams. A, how do you see yourself fitting in? And and B, um, you know, do, do you think like being part of a rotation like that helps your game um, or, or hurts it? Thanks. Uh, first off, it helps my game. Uh, no D lineman can sack a quarterback by himself. It takes all four. So for a person to say that they're a one-man wrecking crew is, is unrealistic and it's not true. So a D lineman having other productive guys around him only benefits them because they can't block us all. <laughs> that's what I always say. So that's great. And uh, the other part of your, what was the other part of your question? Yeah, just looking at the Eagles, um, you know, rotation at defensive tackle with Fletch and, you know, Jordan Davis, you know, first round pick last year and Milt Williams the year before. Oh, yeah, it, it's going to be great. Uh, they built a great room here and an even better culture, so I know we'll only get better. Oh, I, th I, I think all of us are going to have our best year going, to, going ahead. We'll go to Ed and then Bo Wolf. Hey, hi, Street. Welcome to Philadelphia. Um, I just wanted to uh, ask you, I guess you played against Philadelphia last year and, and the year before. So is that kind of how you got that firsthand knowledge when you see the defense celebrate sacks? Uh, and you played against Jalen Hurts. What was what was that experience like playing against him? Um, he's a great quarterback and he's a great leader. Uh, the guys want to protect him. They want to play with him, and I think they feed off his energy. You know, he's a he has this uh, calm demeanor about him that you want in a quarterback. He has a cool head. Um, and as far as just the outside looking in, um, I've always been a fan of the Eagles. And uh, going back to the days of Trent Cold and Brian Dawkins, you know, um, I really feel like this Eagles organization has always had a standard that they've upheld. It's never been, it's never faltered. So it's it's extremely <laughs> exciting to be a part of it, man, because um, I really feel like I can put my best foot forward here. If I could just follow up quickly, did, did Jalen Hurts reach out to you since you've uh, come on board here? Not yet, but I'm sure he will. Go ahead, Bo, and then Zach Berman. How you doing, Street? Uh, part, of the, part of the background noise. Uh, first of all, why, uh, why Street? Why do you go by Street? It's just simpler. And then uh, a lot of people like to add on stuff to my last name. So I've had a lot of people call me Street Money, Super Street. They just add on stuff to it. So I feel like it's a lot more to play with. <laughs> Versus Kentavious. You know, Kentavious has a bunch of uh, margin for error, so I try to avoid that, you know. Okay, makes sense. And yeah. then uh, just to, to take you back, uh, not, to, not to go over like a low light, but the, the start of your career, mm -hmm. um, the injuries that, that you had, what did you learn about yourself uh, fighting through that, going through that process? Um, so my ACL injury was my first like major injury. I, I had dealt with maybe a sprained ankle or strained hamstring here and there, but uh, it really put me to the test mentally and emotionally. That was probably like the first time I truly been tested. Like as a football player, you're always tested physically and a little bit mentally because of conditioning and everything. But um, with the injury, I was for the first time really away from my teammate, my teammates and my team, you know, and I really missed that chemistry. So uh, I had to learn to really depend on those outside of football to lift me up on days where I couldn't bring myself to the standard that I should have been at. So um, I learned to keep valuable people in my circle and not just people who want to be around me. And um, I also learned a bunch about my body to uh, eat right, sleep right. Because, you know, I was a young kid then and I felt like I was Superman. And the injury, I think, Truly, I think it is going to benefit me in the long run because I learned how to take care of my body at an early age, go to sleep, eat right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's, that's pretty much it. And who were those important people in your circle? Uh, so many people. My college coaches, my high school coaches, um, my beautiful mom, my father, uh, my beautiful now wife, uh, all of my college teammates. It's a slew of people who who, uh, who have brightened and sharpened this man's you see today, man. I, it's, it's not just me. Thank you. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, Street, if I can follow up on that. The, the injury occurred during the pre-draft process, so it obviously affected your rookie season. How long into your NFL career did it take before you really felt like you were the player that was on the rise in that pre-draft process? Uh, probably the 2020 season. As crazy as COVID was, um, I feel like that was the first time I actually felt normal. 
So I probably say that year um, because those first two years, like like I said earlier, I was dealing with so much uh, turmoil emotionally and mentally. I couldn't really focus on the football part of it, and I was also injured. So being able to be like a whole man at that point in 2020 and also being healthy, I felt like I was able to put my best foot forward, or at least the the best step I had in the league so far. And if I could follow up, it's it's the pre-draft process now for a lot of prospects. Is there any perspective or insight you have based on your experience that you would share with them? Mm, that's a great question. Um, I would say be confident. Um, don't listen to outside sources. Stay off of social media. <laughs> I think uh, all of us could probably benefit from staying off of social media, but stay off of social media. Um, I say be confident. And uh, just enjoy it. Because it's the last time, of, besides probably free agency, where you can really like experience a, a, a plethora of all these organizations where they have the offer. It's a, it's a very special and unique um, moment that you've been grinding for your whole career. And to have it there, like, yeah, things may not be going how you want them to go, but you're there. <laughs> and enjoy that moment. It's, it's, it's very special. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll go to Chris and then Josh. Hey, Stri, I know a lot when you're coming off the draft, a lot was made that you were able to squat 700 pounds, man. Are you still able to put up that much <laughs> money, uh, to put up that much uh, weight? And uh, do you, ever, you find yourself a lot of people trying to challenge you, trying to go at that number? You know, uh, at this point in my career, um, I could probably do 650, maybe 625, but I try to stay away from those heavyweights. You know, um, a lot of my movements now are more functional, you know, making sure I'm explosive in my stance, uh, stable in my shoulders when I'm knocking uh, knocking back off as alignment, uh, my hamstrings are conditioned to chase after quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers when they're doing reverses, stuff like that. I'm not so much like putting on the heavyweights. And uh, I'll probably say like my first two years leading up into COVID, uh, I had to just wear a big hoodie and, uh, and sweatpants going into the uh, into the gym just because uh, throughout my pre-draft process, that was like the big thing that stuck out about me. So I just, I was just like, I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> and then I'm a regular guy here. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to get strong like you. That's, that's how I used to do things. That's how I approached it. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Street Man, I know you mentioned uh, your interactions with uh, Coach Wash, um, but I'm wondering uh, what have your early um, interactions been like with the new uh, defensive coordinator, Sean Desai, and uh, just, you know, how you're enjoying him as a your new coach and a person overall. So uh, I met with him for a little bit this morning. Um, seems genuinely excited, genuinely excited to be a part of this and uh, to continue to assess that uh, the Philadelphia Eagles defense has been having. Um, I think he's going to bring uh, a plethora up uh, yeah, a plethora of uh, things to this defense. And I think that we'll only improve with him at the helm. I, I, I'm very excited to be a part of this defense.